In this lesson, we'll begin a review of problem solving and data analysis We're in the official PSAT practice test, section four, calculator permitted, question three. Now just to review, all of the problem solving and data analysis questions will appear in section four, the calculator permitted. So it really will be dominated by this type of question. About half of the questions will be these on your exam. So let's look at question three. We know the difficulty level has reset. The line graph above shows the monthly rainfall from March to October last year in Chestnut City. According to the graph, what was the greatest change in absolute value in the monthly rainfall between two consecutive months? So all we want is the greatest change in absolute value. And if you just look at this, right, it's really where it's the biggest gap. So here to there is the biggest change. We were just absolute value. And so what point is this? So go across, right, this is five. And then here, this is right, if we just go across, it's right between two and three. And so that is 2.5. And so the difference here is 2.5. And that's it. The answer is C. All right, let's take a look at the next question, number six. A soda company is filling bottles of soda from a tank that contains 500 gallons of soda. At most, how many 20 ounce bottles can be filled from the tank? One gallon equals 128 ounces. You definitely will see a few unit conversion questions where you have to convert units and you just have to be careful. You know, some students wanna make an equation, but I just think if you just sort of think about it, it's probably a little bit easier. So here we've got 500 gallons of soda and we wanna know how many 20 ounce bottles. So the first step is let's think about, we wanna convert gallons into ounces. All right, so we know 500 gallons. If we want to get ounces, we know that one gallon is 128. And so how many ounces does 500 gallons have? So we could just use our calculator and 500 times 128. That's 64,000. All right, so we have 64,000 ounces. And we want to know how many 20 ounce bottles we can fit. And now we have the same term here. We have ounces to ounces. So we can just take this and then divide it by 20. All right, so 64,000, we're gonna divide that by 20. And that's 3,200, and that's the answer. Now keep in mind, sometimes you'll have a question like this and just for um, to make a point. Let's say you solve this and you ended up getting 3,190, 9.95, right? This is not a rounding question. So let's say we got 3199.95. I'm just giving you an example. And they ask how many bottles, bottles could be filled. You obviously couldn't get up to that 3200, even though it's very close. So you'd have to move down. This is, again, not a rounding question. It would be 3199. But here it went in evenly, and so that's why the answer is 3200. All right, let's look at one more question. Question number seven. A car traveled an average speed of 80 miles per hour for three hours and consumed fuel at a rate of 34 miles per gallon. Approximately how many gallons of fuels did the car use for the entire three hour trip? And so a formula that you really should know is rate times time equals distance. So we're told the car traveled a speed of 80 miles per hour for three hours. So we want to think about how far did the car travel, right? 80 times three, the car traveled 240 miles. And we're told that it can consume fuel at 34 miles per gallon. And we wanna figure out how many gallons did it use. So we just take the total distance traveled, the 240, and we divide by the fuel consumption rate. And again, we could just use our calculator. So that's 240 divided by 34. And we get 7.06 looks like. And here it says approximately. And so definitely the closest choice is D.